Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, this TGIF Fish Friday segment of the week. I know y'all happy. It's like I say, how did I open the video last week and the week before? It is Friday for y'all. For me, it's Thursday night. But anyway, as you see by the title and the preview picture, we doing some old school fish cakes, y'all. I'm show you something very simple, very easy, and it's very awesome. Uh, fish uh, item to eat. So I'm going to get this video started here because it's going to take, the uh, only thing going to take a little while is get my fish cooked up. So what it is, I got some nice fresh tilapia here. I'm going to put it on my pan here. I spray the pan here. I'm going to put it face side up here. And what I want to do, y'all, I want to, uh, here we go. I want to bake this off completely in the oven. So when I make the fish batter, put a little olive oil on here. When I make the fish cakes, I want the fish to be already cooked when I put it in the in the uh, mixture. So when I actually cook it off, I don't have to cook it that long because the fish is already cooked. Okay, I'm putting a little calories on there. Put a little, little shake on here. Um, my uh, old school soul food shake, my, my Uncle Steve shake here. Get a little seasoning, and I don't have to put too much because I'm going to season my mix also. Just a little liquid in here, not much. That's it. I'm going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees. It ain't going to take about 15, 20 minutes to cook this tilapia off. And I like to use any kind of white fish. You can use flounder, tilapia, you can use catfish. I try not to use no real thick fish like a snapper or, or a halibut or something like that. I try to use this uh, this type fish. So anyway, I'm going to step off. I'm going to get this fish going. While I'm gone, I'm going to cut my onions. I got onions I'm going to put in here. I got two kinds of onions, white onions and uh, green onions in this. And the rest is pretty simple. Mayonnaise, a little mustard, panko breadcrumbs, eggs to bind it, a little lemon juice. Shoot, this is easy. It's gonna be easy see, uh, seafood cake, easy uh, fish cake. So we'll be right back once I get all this prepped up. Once the fish is ready, cool down a little. I'm gonna let it cool down a little once I get it out of the oven, and then we'll put this thing together. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. Okay, my tilapia is ready. Look, I just took it out the oven here, and I'm gonna let it kind of hang out here. I'm gonna put it in this bowl here and let it kind of cool off here in the bowl here. Cause I want it to kind of, you know, kind of cool off. It have to be completely cold, but I want it to be, you know, not hot when I put mix this thing together, y'all. So I'm gonna kind of let it hang out here in the bowl about probably about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna mix this thing together, and we're gonna put this seafood cake together. Like I said, I'm gonna let this hang out a little. I got some onions here, green onion, white onion. I got some eggs to put in there, lemon juice, bread, uh, breadcrumb, mayonnaise, a little mustard, salt and pepper, and my seasonings. And then we're going to mix that together, and then we're going to bread it and fry it. It's going to be awesome, awesome, awesome good. Nice crispy crust, nice tender, moist inside. Get your little tartar sauce with this. You're going to get much better. So anyway, we'll be back once it's cool off a little. Well, I can kind of work with it, and we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, now we're gonna put this thing together here, and mix this this uh, fish cake together. And like I told y'all, I let this fish get a little bit of it's pretty much lukewarm now. What I want to do, I want to kind of flake this up, but I don't want it mush. I don't want it be mushy. Hold on, let me pull a little this water out of here, y'all. I don't want too much. I don't want too much liquid in it. Okay. All right. I want to kind of mush. I mean, flake this fish up just a little. Not a lot, but give it a little flake in it. Now. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my onions in here. And let me tell y'all why I'm adding everything in here. Y'all know me. I add things for a reason. I don't add it just to be adding. The onion's gonna give it a little crunch to it. Um, 
Let me get rid of this spark now. I, I want to crunch it. I want to. I don't want to mush this up too much. Okay, my well, onion's gonna give it a little crunch when you bite into it. Not much, much of a crunch. Gonna give it a little crunch, crunch a little crunch rash. And I'm using red and I'm um, red. I'm using white and green. Just a little contrast of colors, you know, that's all. The mayonnaise I'm putting in here gonna give it a little bit of creaminess and a little moisture to the, uh, to the, I may have to add a little bit more, I'm gonna leave that out. The mayonnaise gonna add a little moisture. Put a little Dijon mustard in here. Gonna give it a little, little uh, zing there, if you can say that. A little, a little zing there to it. Okay, put a little lemon juice, gonna add that little refreshing taste there when you bite into it. I got two binding agents. I got eggs and some breadcrumbs. I'm gonna add a little bit more, we'll see here. Now, I'm gonna take my seasoning here, I'm gonna put a little bit more cavernous in here. And some more shake. And then we'll check our seasoning after we get it. But the thing is, we're gonna be very careful <clears throat> When we when we mix this together, y'all, because like I said, I don't want to mush the fish up too much. But I want everybody to know it's a fish cake. I already know I'm gonna need some more breadcrumbs to this. The breadcrumbs will vary, y'all, because depending on how moist the fish is. If you got a real moist fish, you're gonna need more breadcrumbs to help bind this together. You don't want it too, too much breadcrumbs either. I'm definitely gonna taste this. I might put a little bit more breadcrumbs and that's, that's gonna pretty much do it. How to do it there. I'm gonna taste this and see if I got enough seasoning to it. Oh yeah. See if we got enough seasoning. Put a little salt and pepper in it now. Remember the cabinet, it doesn't have salt. My shake doesn't have salt. I had to put a little bit of salt and pepper in it. And that's it. Now y'all, I'm gonna let this sit about 10 minutes and kind of let this come together. Break pump kind of do its thing. And y'all see how I'm folding this? I'm not really stirring it. Like I say, I don't want to break that fish up in there. I want to be nice, cakey, you know, consistency. So I'm gonna step out one more time here. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna let this sit. I like to let it sit like 10 minutes, let everything come together, firm up a little bit more. Come back, we're gonna form it on pan, on the plate. I'm gonna bread it and we're gonna start frying it. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my little scoop here. I'm gonna form some nice, uh, nice flat patties here. Make sure they're all the same size. Of course, if you ain't got a scoop, you can use a, a spoon or whatever. But these nice scoops come in handy, y'all, when you're doing stuff like this. Makes your job so much easier, ice cream scoop. So much easier. And I tell you, I know I got one of my neighbors watching this. He loves these things, y'all. He absolutely loves them. I told him I was gonna make some fish cakes. Like he said, just let him know when they're ready. And he will be over. Okay. I know I can't eat all these. Okay. Let me clean up my hands here and I'm gonna show you the next step, y'all. One more step here to go. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do now, I got a breading station here set up. I got my oil heating up. Make sure it's heating up good over there behind me. 
Now we're gonna bread these, get that nice crispy crust on them. And uh so they'll fry up really, 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 really nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do dry, wet, dry. I'm gonna do flour, egg, Japanese breadcrumb. Flour, put some uh, flour in here, put it in the flour. So you dust it off, dip it in the eggs, in the Japanese breadcrumb, y'all. Trying to fold them over, mold them over there. Do another one. And this when it gets messy, y'all. Gotta get your hands in here, y'all. Get your hands up in here. Eggs. Japanese breadcrumbs. Form them really, really nice. Okay, y'all. See these two here? I'm gonna step off here and I'm gonna get the other ones done. I ain't gonna know y'all, boy, y'all here sitting here breading no seafood, uh, seafood cakes. Breading no, uh, fish cakes. So I'm gonna be right back. I'll have them all breaded up. I'll be ready to get ready for fry. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, I got all the patties formed. Now all I'm gonna do, y'all, is carefully put them in the oil here. Right in the oil. Nice golden brown on each side. Try not to overcrowd the skillet. And I got my, uh, got my sheet. I'm going to put it right back on the sheet pan, y'all, and I might have to finish them in the oven. Y'all already know about my, uh, my, uh, Michelangelo skillet that I just absolutely love, y'all. Absolutely love these skillets. Have them over here. Nice color on them. And these don't take long. Remember, the fish is already cooked. Y'all remember that, huh? The fish is already cooked that's in them. So all we're doing is trying to warm them all the way through. That's pretty much it. But like I said, y'all don't have to make them this big. You can make them smaller. Uh, but I just like them like this. And this is pretty much one serving. If you serve it with something else, like some uh, fries or something like that, one would go a long way. Turn that one over. Turn this one over. Trying to move them around here. But these are so easy to make. And another thing, you can make them ahead of time. You can get them all formed up, put them in the refrigerator, and when it's time for these, you just put them in the skillet and you know, just, and just uh, fry them off. Very simple, y'all, very simple dish. And like I said, I'm gonna eat mine with tartar sauce. They go good with cocktail sauce. If you wanna be really, really old school, just use some ketchup and eat it with some ketchup. But anyway, I'm going to step off here, get them all cooked off, and I'm going to put them on. I'll probably put these on. Uh, let's see here. Let me see how they're looking on the other side. I might have to put them on a cheap pan on a rack in the oven to finish them off, but they look like they're doing pretty good here. I might not have to do that. Sometime when they cook too fast, I will put them in the oven. But the first one, you know, when they first put uh, something in the skillet, until the fire is uh, acclimated to whatever you're cooking. Sometimes they try to uh, cook too fast. So anyway, I'll be right back y'all and uh, I'll uh, pretty much show you the finished product. We'll be right back. Okay y'all, we are back. Fish cakes are ready. Let me take one on here. Let me take this one nearest to the edge here y'all. Nice and look at that pretty fish cake y'all. Put me a little toilet sauce, like I told y'all, I like a little toilet sauce on mine. Let's try this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, y'all. You got crisp videos on the outside, y'all. A toilet sauce on there. Look at that. 
a little hot, but look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I could eat. I could eat three of these things. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all just excuse me. I'm in my moment here. Mm. I love these things. The best thing I can like to do with these is this. I take me some mixed battered bread. I put me some toilet sauce on each side of the bread. And make me a sandwich. That's good. I slice the tomato on there. You got a fish cake sandwich. I'm telling y'all, try this recipe. Like I said, you got the creaminess. Mayonnaise make it got like a little creamy taste to it. It got a little tang from the lemon juice and the Dijon mustard. And you got that little crunch, which is a change of when you bite into it. You got a little crunch from the onions, the red onions, the red onions, green onions, white onions. And it's perfectly seasoned. You can't get no better than this. So anyway, y'all, another TGIF fish segment of the week in the books. I hope y'all try this little simple recipe. Make your Friday night a little bit more complete. Like I said, you can use catfish if you want to. Any nice flaky white fish. I use tilapia. I happen to use tilapia. I used flounder before. Uh, if you use a heavy fish like mahi and redfish and snapper you're gonna have to flake a little bit longer it's not gonna be as to me as moist as that fish because that fish is those type of fish are a little drier type fish they don't flake as very good so anyway if you like this video please share please comment please subscribe please follow my other social media accounts facebook youtube instagram twitter twitch tv pinterest and oldschoolsoulfood.com until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. Remember the hashtag 2021? Did I say that? Help, help somebody old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. Y'all have a happy blessed Friday. Have an awesome weekend. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.